loves this for a great old gun. This is the Smith & Wesson Model 27, uh, 357 Magnum. This is the end frame. Um, for years and years, this was the biggest frame uh, Smith & Wesson had up until they came out with that X frame with, that, with the 500 Magnum. Um, but the, the end frame was the 44 Magnum, the Dirty Harry gun. Um, in 1935, Smith & Wesson came out with the 357 Magnum. And it was, uh, it was like a special order, top of the line, unbelievable detail, craftsmanship work, beautiful guns. And when Smith & Wesson began to number their guns, this became the Model 27. Um, that 357 Magnum was now um, the model, model 27. So this is that Model 27, and it is still, this one is you know, pinned and recessed. The top strap has this, um, this uh, checkering pattern in it, you know, so it's no glare. This has a, the, the target hammer, and it has a very, very sharp knurling. It has a target trigger with, with deep, deep cut grooves in it. Uh, the stock, the, that fat wood stock, it's also checkered. When you grab this, there's no slip in your grip. You got a finger on the trigger and your finger doesn't slip off the trigger. It's stuck there. When you grab that hammer, there is no sliding around. Um, once you get your grip and you, once you get this thing set, it is ready to go and it's not gonna move in your hand. Um, the bluing is beautiful. The wood is awesome. Uh, it's. It was a ton of fun to shoot. You know, the eight and eight and three eighths inch barrel, um, that long sight radius. You know, you have that 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 that, that patridge sight, the adjustable rear. Um, I can't go on enough about how much I love this gun. Um, it's a Smith and Wesson. I mean, so you know it's quality. You know, when 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 you, when you open when you open that up, you know, and you, you, you know, oh man, that's beautiful. And we close it up, and it's tight. It's solid. That thing is locked up tight. This is, this is, this is everything a revolver is supposed to be. You know, you only got six rounds, you know, but you can dump them out and you can drop in six more and you know, you're not, I mean, I'm not clearing houses with this. I'm not going room to room. This is a fun shooting gun. It's an accurate gun, it's a target gun. This would make a decent hunting gun, um, you know, for medium size and smaller game. It has that nice long sight radius. The 30, the 357 Magnum with the 180 grain, uh, grain bullets would make a decent, Maybe even up until small deer size, um, if you're really, really close. But a lot of fun to pack around. Um, great target, great, you know, I, I guess plinking shooting, but a ton of fun. Like I said, it's pinned and recessed. Um, this is when Smith & Wesson went the extra mile. It is just so much, it just, everything about it is just speaks quality. Um, you know, we, we, we took it to the range, we, 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 uh, we, we, we shot it, and <laughs> surprisingly, or not surprisingly, it was very, very accurate. A lot of fun to shoot. That long barrel had, you know, the great sight radius, but also takes up a lot of that recoil. Yeah. I'm gonna go double action. <laughs> First hit. to shoot double action um, and you know by double action means the trigger does two things it cocks it and fires it whereas your single action pistol your trigger only fires you have to have to cock it manually you know a thumb cock or whatever um, but this is a double action or, or single action and smooth double action pull and you know the you hear the stories about the hair trigger in single action you could probably call this a hair trigger that's what you want on a target gun. Um. A little double action. You don't want to be jerking and pulling and pulling your gun off target. You have that hair trigger so you don't disrupt your sight picture, so you don't pull your gun off target, so you can maintain accuracy. You do want kind of that hair trigger when you're doing single action target shooting. Um, double action, you don't really need that. Um, but this is, this is everything I've ever wanted in, in, a, in, a, in a revolver. Um, blast to shoot, blast to have, blast to just even just look at and hold and touch and feel and just, you know, 
I, like, you want to take pictures of it and put it up on your wall. Um, but a lot of fun to shoot. Um, like my videos. Go ahead, do it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, comment on them. I will respond to your comments. Uh, it's, you know, you're going to see guns like this and see me shooting them. Uh, and you'll see me here at the bench, maybe sometimes working on stuff. But that's it for this video. I had a lot of fun with the Smith & Wesson Model 27 and 3P7 Magnum. I hope you enjoyed it too, and we'll see you in the next video.